Hello, it's Brent Shaver, Leverage Lean, and this is the macro instructions video for open email templates. Email templates are great, but opening email templates are not so great, which is why we created the open email templates macro. This macro is awesome because it's going to grow with you over time as you continue to create more email templates, your selection options are going to grow. And once you indicate which email template you want to open with the leading number, this macro will open it for you. It's really quick. And it helps you get more done. If you haven't seen this macro in action, check out our see it in action video here. And the most important part of this video is the code. You want to start using this today. Let's copy this and get this individual basic. But before we do that, make sure you take a moment to look. If this is your first time using VBA, follow these three steps to get you started. All right, to select the code, just double click in between the line numbers and that space here. You can then copy. Let's navigate to Outlook. From Outlook, we're headed to the Developer tab. Once you click the Developer tab, click Visual Basic. Now you'll see here, I already have some modules set up, but you're gonna have to create one if this is your first time using it. Go ahead and hit this black drop down arrow, select Module, and in Module 1, we're gonna paste all of the code for open email templates and you can see that here now one thing i want to call out in the code is the initial folder path this folder path is your default outlook email template path so once you create email templates this is where outlook wants to save them i've put that here is really your default and you can see here's what mine looks like so i actually have the user lever and your user will also populate into this path here. Now in this path, there's a bunch of file types, but specifically this macro is looking for the Outlook item template or OFT file types and then displaying it in an input box. So let me show you this. Let's create a button to fire this macro. You can save and close out of Visual Basic, select the Home tab, and I want to put a button just in between the group Delete and Response. To do that, let's hit this drop down for the Quick Access Toolbar, select More Commands. Within here, select Customize Ribbon. And then we're going to head over here to the Home tab. We have to create a new group because you can only put a new custom button in a new custom group. So let's select New Group. And then I'm going to move this up. You can either drag or hit those arrows. We're going to stick it right in between delete and response. Select rename. I don't like to have a name in here. If you want to enter a name, feel free. With the custom group selected, let's drop down from popular commands to macros. And then within macros, obviously you see I have a lot here. Let's find our open email templates that we just entered into module one and then go ahead and click add it's now over into the custom group and the name is hideous so we're going to change that let's delete project one open email with a space and the, the button or the icon i like to indicate for the open email templates are these lined up boxes here feel free to select a button that makes sense to you and then once this is done let's click ok so you can now see we have a custom button in between the delete and respond groups. Now you can start using this macro quickly just by clicking open email. It's looped through my default email template folder path. It has found all of the available OFT file types and presented them for me to open and select. To do that, I just enter the leading number of the email template I want to open, click enter or OK, and it will then display immediately before me. So this macro is so awesome if you're creating a lot of email templates and want to get them on your fingertips and quickly start accessing them. So let me know what you think of this macro. I absolutely love it. A quick shout out to the customize section. You can change the folder path. If you do not like the default folder path and you save your email template somewhere else, simply just update that variable to as you please. And there is a character length of the display files selection box. So if you've exceeded that, you're not going to see all of your available selection options. My recommendation is just simply shorten your file names. And if for some reason you need those to be longer than what they are, just give me a shout and I'll update the macro to accommodate this. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this macro instructions video for the open email templates. Stay awesome.